Jesus prick. Yo! Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically third years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Uh, you never know, man. Looking at the current third years, I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Eh, uh, it's just you, man. Hey. hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? You know, you're totally me, man. What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name, then? I don't know. <laughs> Sheesh, then you barely know more than me! Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talked to him. And obviously, all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai's getting ready to move, too. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm, too, huh? Yes, she is. Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. I think she's got eyes on me, though. I'll say that. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. By the way, Yuka time. Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, forget it. What? Just say it. Now it's gonna bother me. Well, uh, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just wondering. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything. But I guess it just kind of happened. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know what's weird, though? I think I get what you mean. I can't really explain it, but something just feels off now that i think about it that girl oh crap oh the days have been going by peacefully without incident all right it's after school class has ended for today What's up, Kenji? Yo, dude, I heard the juiciest news just now. You want to oh. hear it? Of course you do. Well, you know me. Okay, here goes. This is just between you and me, okay? All right. Get this. So, next month, I heard we have three fine-looking teachers coming in. After Emmy, uh, Miss Kano leaves, the faculty roster kind of loses its spark, you know? Miss Toriyumi has that weird secret. Miss Onishi is obsessed with medicine. Well, I wouldn't hope that, you know, weird secret doesn't have anything to do with me. That'd be pretty weird. And Miss Terauchi is like going to India or somewhere. I mean, come on, even our school nurse is a guy. Sure, guy nurses are out there, but we could do better than him. He's got some kind of anti-hooky agenda. Speak of the devil, you don't look so good. You need to go see that devil nurse? Uh, I, I'm good. If that's the case, sorry dude, but you're on your own. I refuse to set foot in that so-called nurse's office. Not that I imagine it'll help me with anything. Oh, oh, and those new teachers are coming by today to check out the campus. I'm thinking about hanging around the faculty office to scope them out. Wanna come? Uh... Sure. Excellent choice, oh wise one. We got electives to choose next year, right? So we've got to make sure we choose the right one. If you catch my drift, hmm? Wait a minute, wasn't today? Oh, crap! Sorry, man, I, I got to split before she gets here. Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, man, you're, you're a busy man. 
Yeah, I know, but if I run into her, she just won't shut up. That's my little sis. She'll be coming here next month, so she's gonna swing by today to look around. But I am not gonna be her damn tour guide. I don't want to be seen leading her around by the hand everywhere. I mean, you don't have to do that. It's still guide her, but... I wish I had an older sister instead. Eh. Well, anyway, I'm gonna jet. Later. It's here, bro. Oh. oh, sorry. I was just thinking about you. Uh, mm, can we go somewhere else? All right. Thanks. Uh, you look like you're not feeling well. Sorry to bother you at a time like this, but I appreciate it. It's all good. Uh, hey, sorry for calling you out here. I actually have a little favor to ask. Mm. It's about my mom. I want you to meet her. Oh, I'm getting to meet the family now, aren't I? <sighs> I, I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I'm not trying to make her feel bad. I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet. But I do want to see her. I think. That's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. <laughs> you don't have to say anything, really. It's just that I'd feel more confident having you around. And with you by my side, I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? Sure. I don't mind. You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Sorry to wrap you up in my family situation. Hey, um, you must be thinking your life would be easier if I didn't have so many problems. That's not true. All the problems that came with it was worth it. What? Are you saying you actually like my problems? No, that hey, it was- don't worry about it. I was just joking, okay? Jeez. Like I said, it was worth it. You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon. And after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow. It's hard to imagine. Do you think... We'll still be together at that point? Of course. Like, you gotta ask. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> well, let's talk about the near future then. Wanna go somewhere over spring break? Oh, how about Destiny Land? But just the two of us, okay? You better not invite anyone else. Well, alright, if I end up inviting the harem, then you'll have to forgive me. Anyways. Like, if we stay the night and stuff. I wonder if anyone at the dorms would notice if the two of us disappeared for a night. <laughs> That's an embarrassing thought. We can talk more about it later. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? I want to, but I've actually got somewhere to be today. Uh, well, I'll, I'll come with you. I got time. Huh? N no, no, you can't. Oh, but no, never mind. We shouldn't. I'm actually planning on going to the public library because, like, there weren't any books about sports physiology and stuff at the school library. Oh, I see. I'm gonna head out first to get some studying done. Okay. Sorry about that. And again, since we've already bumped into each other, kind of want to chat for a bit. Wanna walk me to the entrance? Sure. Well, then, uh, guess I'll see ya. Gotta go home and study. Well, what if I want you to stay? Oh, you know I can't. Hey, remember what I told you before? About finally finding my dream? 
I never had anything to work towards until now, so I'll admit I'd been slacking off. Mm, to be honest, my grades really suck. It's been tough getting them back up. And that's why I need to work harder. Ugh, I really, really want to hang out with you. I want to be with you. And I want to feel closer to you, too. But I gotta be patient. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I want to take my dream into my own hands and stand next to you with my head held high. I want us to walk towards the future together. You just watch. I'm gonna be so much more irresistible by then. I bet you'll fall in love with me all over again. Just kidding. But that's why I need to be patient for now. Oh, I know. Don't they say that food tastes the best after you've tried your hardest in a match? Well, this is just like that. If we're patient now and cool off for a while, then maybe later on... Wait up! What are you even making me say? <sighs> anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, see ya! We'll hang out sometime soon. That we will. What's up, Kazushi? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to spy, but you're going out with Yuko, aren't you? I uh, just, you know, I'll tell that to anyone else. I noticed she's been way more motivated lately, so you're the reason, huh? She even took a look at my knee with this huge book, pointing out all the muscle groups and where I injured it. She really knows her stuff now. Guess that's the power of love, huh? <laughs> Guess so. Well, she's a great girl. Better not catch you making her cry, all right? I will. You know, so make sure that I don't get caught by my own harem, of course. But I guess I'm the last person you want to hear that from. Besides, you're not that kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, man, not at all. Totally. Oh right, I wanted to talk to you about something. I went back to the hospital to get a checkup on my knee. The results are in. <laughs> it's a hundred percent healed. They said I can run all I want now. It's nice. Dude. <laughs> I was so happy, I almost broke the doctor's back, I hugged him so hard. But thinking about it now, how would things have gone if I'd kept running through the pain? I was pushing too hard, only thinking about myself. I got pissed off when things didn't go my way. So I threw out the advice I got, and shot my knee to hell. Man, I was such a moron. At least I can see it now. I kept saying it was all for my nephew, but in the end... It was just about my own damn pride. I got you, everyone on the team, and my parents all worried about me. I didn't even stop to notice. I was a real selfish brat. Wait, you changed. <laughs> you really were. Ah, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, it took me this long, but at least I finally snapped out of it. Exactly. Thanks, man. It's because of you I'm standing here on two feet. It's not on one. I swear, things will be different from here on out. I want to repay you all for what you've done for me. No more stubborn pride. I'm gonna listen to what others have to say. Even when it's not what I want to hear. Well, that's about it. I just wanted you to be the one I break the news to first. I'll run around to the faculty office and club room later to let everyone else know. Have a good one. You too, brother. Take care now. Oh, it's you! You don't look so good. <laughs> Is the weather getting to you? It's been getting warmer. Yeah, uh, man, it's something else, but I'm all good. It's already March. Hmm. There's something I wanted to tell you. Well, we're in the same grade, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to talk. Even so, I wanted to say this while we're both still on the student council. I'm going to quit. Well, this semester is just about wrapping up. All this means is I'm not going to apply next year. That cigarette business gave me a lot to think about. This may sound odd, but do you think this country is headed in the right direction? Uh, I, I doubt it. I'm gonna be honest. I see. Me neither. Up until January, there was a sinister cult growing in popularity. Yeah, something with like about Nicks or something? Yeah, that was such a weird time, you know? A society without a future. For many people out there, that's the reality. I was thinking how we could change that. 
what it would take to change society. My answer to that used to be reform by those in power. I thought that was the only way. But starting a revolution just because you have the power to do so creates more problems. That's what the cigarette incident taught me. I realized how naive I had been. And it helped me arrive at a different answer. I think the best thing for society is education. Every last individual that makes up our society should have a right to education of heart and mind. I really believe that's what we need the most. And so, I'm thinking of becoming a teacher. A society is shaped by its people. Every person I help grow helps society grow by extension. You're not going to laugh and tell me I'm dreaming? You know, I won't do that. You've come a long way. You know, you've come a long way, man. That deserves some respect. I see. Well, I plan to do my best. <laughs> That's all I wanted to tell you. That, and to say thanks. It's been my pleasure. This was all because of you, so thank you. Oh, well, it was nothing short of helping out a brother, so you got it, man. I was just looking for you. This came for you. It's from Hayase. I bet his school is sorry he's gone. Oof, he was a heck of an athlete. But it's good news for us. Now there's nothing standing between us and total victory. Well, I'll see you around. Oh, uh, if you insist. I received a letter from Hayase. I better read it. This is a good place. How's it going? I don't know your address, so I'm sending this to the school. Hyas's firm handwriting fills the page. I can almost see Hyas's face. I'm doing good. I'm starting to get used to the job too. The real reason I'm writing is because of track. Before I'd pretty much given up hope of ever continuing. Except there was a part of me that refused to let it go. I don't care what it sounds like. Track and field was my whole life. I could tell Hayase was in a good mood when he wrote that. Yeah. I guess the factory manager realized what's up and he wants to help me out. We're gonna make a track team here. Well, I call it a team, but it's really just a few guys at the factory. We practice after work and sometimes on our days off. The other day we did endurance swimming at Lake Biwa. We've even climbed Mount Hie. We don't have fancy equipment like before, so we're not as efficient. But I'm still having a blast. Most of the guys are just in it for fun, so I don't really get to do any serious training. But I guess it'll even the playing field for them. How about you? You're still at it, right? I'm sure you're just gonna keep getting better and better. It's weird how badly I want to see you improve. Look. One day, you and I are going to go at it again. And if I'm going to be a good rival, then I've got a lot of work to do. It feels nice having a goal to work toward. Almost forgot what it was like. Oh yeah, and my mom's getting better. She's in a long-term care facility with lots of fresh air. My relatives and friends come by the house, so my siblings are in good hands too. Things have been pretty great these days. I feel like I can take care of the people who matter to me. It's really fulfilling. And I get to feel that way because of you. So, thank you. Can't wait to see you again. The letter ends there. Andre Laurent Jean Gero. Oh, oh, too long. A samurai's name should be simple and short. Oh, this letter was sent to the school. It looks like it's addressed to one of our students. It should be. Wait, me. is this actually for you? 
Of the writing so shaky, I didn't recognize your name. It's from an Andre... something. I don't recall the student with such a foreign name. The Bebe. only one that comes to mind is Bebe. Yeah. The sender's name is listed as Andre Lor. I, I don't know the French pronunciation of it. Jean. Yeah. It's from Bebe. I should read this letter. Hello. It is me, Bebe. Bebe's unsteady scribbles fill the page. I can picture Bebe's smiling face. Writing in your language is difficult, so forgive me if it is hard to read. I learned a lot in Japan, but I still need lots of help. I write this with a dictionary. I showed Uncle the kimono. He said many wonderful things about it. He said Japan is a great country. I was thrilled to hear it. So I tell uncles that I want to go back to Japan. I tell him over and over. Finally, he says, okay. I can really feel Bebe's joy coming, joy coming through in his letter. But I decided not to go back. I am sorry. I said I would come back, but it was a lie. I didn't know. My aunt was not the only one who helped me study abroad. Uncle, relatives, neighbors, so many people helped me. They all wanted me to go back. They said they would help pay for it. But uncle is sad after he lost my aunt. While uncle grieves, I would not be able to enjoy myself in Japan. I cannot take everyone's money for my own fun. Besides, I can learn about Japan here in France too. And so, in France, I will stay. Someday, I will return to Japan on my own, without anyone's help. I can feel the determination in Bebe's words. I reflected on how fun it was to make clothes with you. So, I enrolled in fashion school. I made some clothes for the school contest. And I won first prize. I have come up with a name for my winning design. A very wonderful name, I think. It is a name that means a lot to me. Japan and France, you and me, all so far apart. But I am always here for you. No amount of distance will ever change that. Every day was so much fun. More fun than I have ever had. I hope I get to see you again someday. To my precious friend, Bebe. The words near the end are smudged. Well, hopefully, one day, maybe like tomorrow, he will be back. Anyways. Oh, hello, Fuka. Oh, are you going home? You look a bit pale. Are you doing alright? Not really, but I'm managing. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Maybe you should rest in the nurse's office before you leave. Uh, I don't think that'll help. I was actually about to head to the faculty office. Would you like me to walk you downstairs? I want to spend as much time with you as I can. But I won't refuse that, so let's do it. I'd be happy to. Okay, let's head down to the faculty office together. Oh, it'll be kind of embarrassing to walk side by side at school, huh? Mm -hmm. Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? 
Oh, well, I, I want to start a tech club. Tech gloves? Are you referring to technician's gloves? I think you'd have to go to a hardware store for those. Um, not tech gloves. A tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. You want to start a club now? Why is it always you, Yamagishi? Look, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really want to get this group going. I promise I'll do my best to find members and all that. So, do I have your permission to start the club? What? You don't even have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now, I must be going. And he's gone. Well, looks like I need to find five people now. Uh, would you like to join my tech club? Hell yeah, of course. I got something that doesn't even need to be asked. Yes! I'm so happy to hear that. I was hoping you'd help me. You know, I used to think it was wrong for me to like electronics. I always kept it to myself. Yes, I thought it was a strange thing for a girl to be interested in. But you accepted me for who I am. That's why I decided to be strong and let everyone know who I really am. Even if people think I'm strange, I know it's okay. I have you with me, so there's nothing to be scared of. Now I want to meet more people like me and hang out with them. Since I kept my love of electronics hidden, I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's why I thought I'd try starting a club all about it. Because maybe there are other people out there who like this stuff too. And if so, I want a way to talk to them. I do admit I'm a little nervous though. But don't worry, I'll still keep going to art club. It'll probably get really busy, but I want to keep trying. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool. That kind of feeling. You'll stay in art club next year too, won't you? I'd like to. It's a pretty thought. That's good. Next year, I want to be in whatever clubs you're in. I'd like to be in the same home room too. And I'd love to see you more at the dorm. I think I just want to be with you more in general. I keep asking more of you, don't I? If there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. I know I'm not the most reliable, but I want to get to know you better. I want to be closer to you. Oh, I've got to hurry and find some club members. And I need to make recruitment posters too. Well, I'll see you later. Next time, maybe we can talk about it more in my room? <laughs> now I really have to go. Bye. Well, guess it's a promise. Maybe sometime like tomorrow. Fine. And what do we have here? What's the matter? You don't look well. Are you tired? Try not to overdo it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should try not to call you that in public. Well, I have no shame in it. <sighs> if you don't mind, could we have a little chat someplace else? I have some business to take care of later on, but I'd like to talk with you until then. Sure. Thank you. In that case, why don't we go to the student council room? I'd like to see it one last time. All right. This room feels so nostalgic, even though the entrance exams have only kept me away for a short while. <sighs> the results haven't been posted yet, but I'm fairly confident that I passed. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student. And that means I'll no longer be seeing this view. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare today. The company heads are conducting a briefing. The Kirijo group may appear strong, but it's actually rather frail. It could
could collapse at any time. I have to keep it together. Well, any way I can help. <laughs> of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? It's thanks to you that I learned to feel comfortable in my own skin. Beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Before long, I'll be taking my leave from the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but... I haven't made significant progress. My books, my clothes, my photos... Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast. Especially the year that you came. Whenever we spoke or passed each other in the dorm, I felt like my heart would burst. I never knew I had these emotions just waiting to be given permission to be felt. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to this school. If I hadn't met you, would I have gone through with the arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind? Fate is... a mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group, as well as my own. And for your future as well. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Come introduce yourself to the heads of the family sometime. Don't worry, you'd only be saying hello. I'd just like them to know who you are. Well, it's almost time. I'd best be on my way. I'd love to see you back at the dorm, but I'll be out late tonight. Perhaps this weekend? Just the two of us? Of course. <laughs> who else will lend me their shoulder when I need a little support? You're the only one who can do this for me. Go on. Try and name someone who could do the same. <laughs> Was that a bit much? Well, now you know how serious I am. I need you in my life. <laughs> and you'll have all of them. Well, we'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me. You should get home and rest before it gets worse. Well, I guess. Right now, I, um, oh, sorry. This isn't the time to talk about that. Uh, well, what is? Hmm. Um, I suppose I can tell you. It's nothing important, though. Go ahead. Look at this flyer over here. The Dark History of Student-Teacher Romance? Uh, people are free to fall in love with who they want. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, somehow, I don't think that's the issue here, but we'll go with that. I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but... That doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this. I'm going to write a letter of protest to the school paper. Oh, I'll be all right on my own. I'm going to do this by myself. Thank you, Senpai. There's one thing I've decided for myself. It's not much, but I'd like to continue on the student council for next year, too. It was because of you that I was able to change. I know that for a fact. And I never would have met you if I hadn't joined the student council. That's why I want to stay involved. At least, I hope I can. <sighs> I want to be able to like myself more. And I want you to like me more, too. I want to be the first one you think of. Well, maybe you might be... That's why. Um, the... The fifth. I... Love you. <sighs> what am I saying? I, I can't believe I said something like that at school. I, I'm sorry. W well then, please excuse me. But maybe next time we could go home together. I have so many places I'd like to see. And I want to visit each and every one of them with you. That's a promise.
Miss Toriyumi. Interesting. What does she have to say? You know. Let's talk with Junpei. Like, I'm sorry, brother. I know I only hung out with you, you know, once, but... I really wanted to make an effort, you know? Hey. Something's been bugging me for a while now. That seat's been empty this whole time. Who even sits there? Well... Yeah, I know, I know. You don't remember either, right? Yeah. Dude, this is driving me crazy! I'm seriously gonna lose all my marbles before the end of the school year. Well, I guess a lot's happened this year. I'm a bit fuzzy on the details, but I just know it was jam-packed with all sorts of thrills and chills. I'd imagine. Weird, though. If it was that exciting, why can't I remember anything? I don't know, man. It feels like my head's a right mess thinking about it. Dude, what the hell did we even do this entire year? Um, something, I guess. for us to bump into each other here, isn't it? True. Yeah. I guess it's because I usually go straight to practice after class. But today, I felt like looking around the school before heading over. After all, this is my last day here. The days flew by in the blink of an eye. But at the same time, it felt like this year would last for an eternity. <laughs> I've dedicated all three years of high school to boxing, and nothing else. <laughs> Was there really nothing else? Uh, yeah, I think so. It, never mind. It's nothing. I guess hanging out with everyone at the dorm counts as something. We even made pancakes together. We had some good times. That we did. If we hadn't lived in the same dorm, <laughs> we might have never met each other. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'll be leaving the dorm soon. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll always be your senpai. If you ever run into trouble, you can tag me in. Whatever happens, I'm on your side. Thank you, brother. Do you remember Shinji? Ah, uh, I mean Naragaki. No, no, no. I, I do know Shinji. I remember. <laughs> Shinji was supposed to graduate with me. I still can't believe that he was dragged into that incident. What incident? No. In any case, it's a shame about that incident. Ah. Are you okay? You don't look well. Eh. I hope it's not anemia. Should we get you to the nurse's office? Don't worry about me, brother. I'm I'm just fine. Though actually, that might be a bit hard for me. I guess I'll just tell you. So I took the exam for the medical school I was hoping to go to, and I failed. I guess this is my first real failure in life. <laughs> so starting in the spring, I'll be a student in training. I'll have to keep studying hard every day. Good luck next segment. No need it. I don't think I did badly, but exams tend to have a luck factor to them too. Hmm. The old me would have just given up. I don't exactly have the strongest willpower, but now it's a different story. I want to be a doctor and save as many lives as I can. I want to protect the people I love. There are a lot of different ways I can accomplish that, and the way I want to do it is through the power of healing. So from now on. I won't lose focus. Next year, I'm going to try again, and I'll pass with flying colors. Thank you. I think it was because of your help that I've changed so much. I'll be graduating a year earlier than you, but I won't forget about you. Likewise. Oh, who else is there? It's, yeah. That one with apparently Miss Toriyumi. You know, I, I couldn't possibly imagine what this is about, but then there's also with the cat. I can hear Miss Toriyumi's voice from inside. I could try to talk to her. Sure, why not? She is my homework teacher, so. Uh, homework teacher. Anyway, you've uh. been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. 
Your lesson the other day really caught my eye. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled? Well, yes, I have been studying while making preparations lately. Things like how to best communicate the lessons I'm looking to teach. <laughs> I guess it does seem kind of out of the blue, huh? <sighs> Thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time only looking at what's right in front of me. How wonderful! I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Probably by someone uh, by the name of Psycho. Just you know, putting that out there. Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. After that, I took a closer look at my life. That person... Wait. They were real, right? They had to be. Ah, uh, yes, I understand. I myself once had a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. Uh... Destiny called fate? Isn't that a bit redundant? Besides, you should be careful what you say to a single woman. <laughs> anyway, if you'll excuse me. The teachers seem busy. I should get out of the way. Oh, this was uneventful. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, is everything okay? Do you need something? Uh, you don't look well. Maybe you should go to the nurses. Wait, you dropped something. I did. What? Huh? This phone wallpaper. Now, now, mister. No cell phones at school. Ah, uh, whatever, bitch. Hmm? That screen. I read downward. <laughs> love you. My. What a charming confession of love. Well, you know. Did you make this? Uh, it was... It was for my girlfriend. Your... Girlfriend? <sighs> uh, never mind that. What's going on? Why do you have this screen cap? Oh... Oh, don't... Don't tell me you got it online. The only ones who were on that server were... No, it couldn't be. There's no way. Are you kidding? No, no, no! Calm down, Miss Toyumi. Help! Someone call a doctor! Don't tell me. You're Tatsuya? I... Uh, I said all that? To you? I... 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 Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh no! This can't be happening! I quit this school! I'm leaving! I'm never coming back! Oh, I can't live with this! Just kill me now! Hello, Maya son. So you really are <laughs> Um I I'm <laughs> Maya. I'm Maya. It's me, damn it. You got a problem with that? <sighs> Why don't you say something? <laughs> Jeez, idiot. This is so embarrassing. Ugh. But there was one thing I wanted to say. If we ever met face to face. And what is that thing? I... Uh, I was able to turn my life around thanks to you. So, um... Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I was kind of. Uh, wipe that smile off your face, or I'll wipe it off for you with my fists. Sounds good. Anyway, um, if you don't mind, 
If you don't mind, uh, m maybe we could have dinner. Oh, maybe tomorrow would be good. Go to hell with this. Oh. Hello, Ken. What are you doing? I'm glad I found you. It was kind of nerve wracking to come to the high school campus all by myself. Anyway, I'm here to drop off something Sonata san forgot. He's usually so put together, but sometimes you can be just a little scatterbrained. Oh, speaking of forgetfulness, do you remember someone named Aragaki san? He was at the dorm for a little while. Yeah, I think so. For like a month, right? I didn't really talk with him all that much. Whenever he crosses my mind, I feel this ache in my chest, and unbearably sad. It's as if I've forgotten something important. You know, I feel it too. Though, I'm not sure what. I get the feeling that there was something I had to do. I just don't know what it is or why I feel this way. Oh, um, sorry about that. You were really easy to talk to, so I kept going on and on. I appreciate that you always listen to what I have to say, though, Senpai. You even went with me to buy tea, and you don't treat me like I'm just a little kid. So, um, thanks for everything. You got it, man. I'm still just a kid, aren't I? I wish there was a way for me to grow up more quickly. Well, there's no rush to grow up quickly. It's not as fun as it looks. No matter how grown up I try to act, people still end up protecting me. There's always someone sheltering me. I wonder if I'll ever be strong enough to protect someone else instead. And your time will come, but it's gotta wait. Hello, sir. Aren't you the boy who used to talk to the monk upstairs? He actually called here trying to reach you. Uh, seems like he was wondering how you were doing. Come to think of it, I think he left a message for you. What was it he said again? Hey, hey, don't give me that look. Just hang on a sec. All right. What did he say? Ah, found it. Here you go. I actually wrote it all down. Didn't think I had it in me, did you? Let's see. Oh, man, the handwriting is awful. Who the hell wrote this? I found my wife and son. My son's still a good-for-nothing punk. My wife is frigid as usual. She's like an old witch. What do you want? I'm on the phone! Hey, don't write this down, all right? <laughs> Lots happened, but I apologized a thousand times, and I worked to make things right. I guess you could say we fell in love all over again. I realized, instead of holding on to my pride, I needed to just suck it up and apologize. It's all thanks to you. Well, you take care, kid. It's meant to be. We'll see each other again. That's the gist of it. I'm pretty sure I got everything he said. Oh, and don't bother asking for a number. He didn't say. But like he said, you'll see him again if it's meant to be. Yeah. Don't they say, like, fate lies in God's hands or something? Oh, wait, that'd be Buddha for the monk. Anyways, that's that. If fate does bring you two back together, why don't you come party over here again? Yeah. Hopefully someday like tomorrow night, we could just have a drink, him and I. That'd be nice. Oh. That officer. Alright, let's yeah. see what... Hey, what's up, Officer Vice? Oh, it's you. School over already. It's been a long time since we've just talked like this. Sorry, I don't quite remember how things went down. Well, in any case, the months are going to, are going to go by quickly. Make sure you enjoy your school life so you don't have any regrets. Right. Huh. I swear I felt like there was something back here. Oh well. Oh, uh, hello. Welcome. Sorry, but we're closed today. Oh, wait, you're the weird kid who comes by often. You're an odd one to be interested in antiques at your age. Especially since you're always getting... Uh, what was it? 
Sorry, my memory hasn't been great lately. Come visit again tomorrow. I'll try to remember by then. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Uh, hello, sir. Hey. Oh, you. I think I've seen you come here a couple of times. You're still young, so you shouldn't rely so much on medicine. You can live. <clears throat> you can live a healthy life without the need for medicine if you exercise, eat well, and start a yard. Yeah, we'll see though. Yeah, we did. I'm Maiko's father, if you remember. Ah, I see. What's up? Do you have a minute to talk? I've been dwelling a little on what happened. Uh, sure. All right. Perfect. Uh, if you don't mind, let's take a walk down to the takoyaki stand. I'll buy you some. My treat. The oh. food there sure oh. is good. But you knew that already, didn't you? Yeah, but I appreciate it. When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She's a good girl. Wouldn't you agree? Uh... Yeah... I would say. She's so good that I wonder if she's really my own child sometimes. She actually sent me a letter recently. It's chock full of details about her new life. She said she's made a lot of friends. Let's see. She's in charge of the rabbits at her new school and has had to get up early to clean the cages. They scolded her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy her friends. I guess she can be a bit absent-minded. I never knew that about her. Oh, and she did so well on her recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. So you gotta get then she went on to talk about how she plays at the park by the school with her friends every day. Her mother's doing well too. They're having a lot of fun together. <sighs> having fun. Must be nice. Nowadays, I just come home to an empty house. The rooms feel so big without those two around. I imagine. I wonder if she feels the same way. Living in a home with no father in it. Uh, we put her through so much because of our own problems. I feel terrible about it. By the way, I've actually got a bone to pick with you, too. Oh. Michael must have really liked you, huh? She wrote all about it. Well, what did she say? I can't wait to grow up. That's why I'm drinking lots of milk. I'm going to marry him someday. <laughs> That's what she wrote. That was her choice. What the hell is that about you, little punk? Y you were taking advantage of my little Maiko, weren't you? I mean, you, you saw what the signs, you saw what she wrote. I had nothing to do with it. Rather, not enforcing it, so. Maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it. So, th this is what it's about? I gotta, you know, prove it to the father? Interesting. And I'm not letting a guy like you touch my daughter with a ten-foot pole. Yeah. I'll never let you marry her. And don't you forget it! Well, I do not have his blessing, apparently, so... hidden menu at Hagakure as well. Oh, yes. I have heard the same story. They say he tried a bite of some dish. Then he said it could use some fish flakes. So they put some in and sure enough it was delicious. Now it's an item on our hidden menu. I'm a big fan of it myself. I had him come up with some ideas for Wakatsu too. Yes, he's the one. Sui Mitsukun put our coffee on the map too. Sure, his appearance and behavior are how should I say this? Eccentric? But he knows everything about food. 
And his palate is refined. He's in a league of his own among gourmands. There's not a restaurateur around here who doesn't know him. Is he that famous? So when you heard he was planning to leave to tour the country... I was shocked and disappointed, of course. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well for himself. I hear he's got a book coming out. It's very exciting. Even when he's far away, I can still feel him. Uh, wait, don't run that. Yep, probably not the best thing, you know, thing to say. Are the rumors about a King Suimitsu statue being built in this shopping district true? <laughs> oh, yes. I can't wait. I'll be rubbing it every day for good luck. Uh. Oh, are you a student from the area? Do you mind if we get a few words from you? Are you familiar with the high school student known as the Gourmet King? Well, of course I know him. He's me. He gave me that title. But he's my best friend. I do. Huh? But I'd heard he wasn't interested in anything except food. Well, I must have caught his attention, didn't I? Unless you mean you know him in the same way everyone else around here knows him. Thanks for your time. I'd love a chance to meet him myself one day. The interview continues. Well, well, look who it is. It's been a while. You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Now, now, dear. They don't grow that fast. Eh. Uh, you'd be, you know, you'd be surprised. What must have happened is that we shrank. Isn't that right? You know, that, that is true. <laughs> oh, is that how it is? Looks like you got one over on me. Say, you, you know our old shop here, uh, Bookworms? Something fresh, avant-garde. I can't let Gekukan's new school building hog the spotlight. Good idea. Right. I'll out some plans with my dear and make this place even better. Speaking of the new school building, they've decided to replant the persimmon tree. It'll be moved to a special location on a hill overlooking the whole campus. Our dear boy will be able to watch over those students for many more years to come. I know the tree isn't actually our son, and yet... This makes me feel so happy. Ever since my dear heard the news, she's turned into a leaky faucet. Come on, give me a smile. Go, 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 go. Please, dear. I think your dentures are falling out. Anyhow, we'll be supporting the GeckoCon students with renewed strength in our hearts. Looking at you again, you really did grow, didn't you? You've overcome great hardships, I can tell. Come back and visit us any time. We'd always love to see you. Yeah, maybe a day like tomorrow. It's on Monday, so, you know. Ah, yes. Apparently I missed one here. Miss. Hello there. Oh, excuse me. Are you? Yes. Yes, I am. How do you? Uh -huh. How do you know? Miss? So it was you. Oh, excuse me. I'm Miss Kamiki. Ah. Uh. Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. I imagine he did. I was just thinking about him. If you have time, would you like to stay and talk for a while? Sure. Close. That's wonderful. Please sit down. Like son, like mother. Today is a special day. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another one of God's whims. Today is my son's Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. Only 19 years. It was too soon. He was almost an adult, but he never made it. Akinari had a genetic disease. I'm completely healthy. 
But him... <laughs> the doctors detected it when he was born. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day, I worried whether he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But he said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, Mother. I'm glad that I was born into this world. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you for the life you've given me. He... He suffered so much, and yet he still said that to me. But... Akinari brought me so much happiness, too. Feeling his warmth as I carried him in my arms after he was born. Those tiny hands. <laughs> that first smile. Hearing his breathing as he slept at night. Every day, I was so grateful he was alive. <laughs> Every day, I found new joy in him. <laughs> now, I'm so alone. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do. My boy gave me so much. I have to keep going. Looking straight ahead. That's how I want to live. I'll eat the finest foods. Visit the most exotic places. I'll do everything. Absolutely everything that Akinari couldn't. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done. On that day, when we meet again on the other side, if I didn't have that to look forward to, I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me. When my son's condition worsened, he started writing a children's story. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found his notebook. He said he wanted you to be the first one to see it when he was done. Then he laughed and said I would be second. <laughs> I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. You know, he did finish it. What? So, did you get to read the story? I did. I explained how I received the notebook from Kimiki, and that I heard the entire story. I... I see. So, you did. I'm so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. Oh, you should hold on to his notebook. I'm sure that's what he would want to. I'll hear the story from him directly. When I see him on the other side. Now I have one more thing to look forward to. I'm glad I could finally meet you. Thank you. Before I go, let this old woman give you one piece of advice. Take good care of the ones you hold dear. If you wait until their day comes, it's too late. Clinging to their cold bodies won't bring them back. I don't intend Everyone on failing Everyone who's them. born will die someday. Not just Akinari. Or me, or even you. It's all the same. Yeah. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production of it. But if you love someone, let them know it. Yeah. We all go through life with the same struggles, the same heartbreak. We should all lift each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people too. Don't ever forget it. I don't intend to. Goodbye. Kamiki's mother left without looking. I wonder if I get, get something here. 
upper. What was that strange voice I just heard inside my head? Eh, maybe I just imagined it. Interesting. Alright, I think all that's left is... What is it? Gormar. Little boy. What's up? I see. It seems like Koromaru is worried about me. I probably look like a mess. Yeah. It's okay. I'm fine. Don't you worry about me, boy. Koromaru's expression brightened. He seems relieved. Kormaru isn't budging from his spot. Guess he won't be leaving anytime soon. Good boy. Alright, and I think that's it. Maybe I should head inside. Yeah, let's go inside. I've done all I can. The TV has been left on. It's showing the news right now. Coming up next. A special report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the media. With us is our reporter live on scene. Take it away. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Hmm. Is he now? Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets. And he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. Why doesn't he donate some of that money for a change? Damn Scrooge. I don't know, man. W well, I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <laughs> he's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go in your TV. Tanaka's commodities. Everybody's ultimate friend in greed. <laughs> Hi, everyone! Amazing Commodities is here for you year-round! Rain or shine! We have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods! Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution! Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds! And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy! We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world! That's the Amazing Commodities Guarantee! We look forward to your business! President, Tana President Tanaka's car drove off. Oh, he he's gone! What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising! <laughs> We'll have to interrupt you there, as we've just received a fax. It... it's from President Tanaka. The message reads... Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My contents is clear, dear viewers, so buy my products guilt-free <laughs> amazing commodities here for you year-round rain or shine buy now or you'll miss your chance you'll see Bye bye apparently he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds does he have no shame oh, this Tanaka guy just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings 
On behalf of the people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be- That's enough. Yes, thank you very much. This concludes our special report. With no clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. And, you know, you would happen to be right. No, for this report is, you know, going off on Tanaka for being a fat pig. I highly doubt he would, you know, donate it himself. So, how's he any better, you know? Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. This just in. We have reports that amazing commodities stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. Well, the report continues. Mm. My whole body feels sluggish. I'm too exhausted to fight the fatigue. The third year's graduation ceremony is tomorrow. I should head to bed early tonight. Looking back, I experienced so much in just one year. It's the men's room. Use the bathroom, why not? I can feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. I only went to school today, but my whole body feels heavy and sluggish. I can't keep my eyes open. Alright. Let's go to the rooftop. Look at these beautiful vegetables, man. Looks like the produce can be harvested. The harvest has increased. Maybe it's because I studied how to grow them well. I often took care of the plants here with my doormates. Through cultivating the crops together, I was able to deepen the bonds with my friends. Yes, I was. here. The door is tightly sealed. I see. Aragaki's room. The re its resident isn't here anymore. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm not feeling well, but I don't feel like drinking anything. Hmm. Yeah, let's head off for tonight. See what's up. I only went to school today, but. Oh, man, you suck. I remember using this computer quite a lot. It was a great way to pass time. Yes, it was. But I'm tired. I gotta head to bed. All the items on this shelf remind me of the precious memories. You sure? A lot sure has happened over this past year. Let's check what's coming up. Graduation day. Finals and spring. Whatever this means. An ending ceremony. Maya and I spent a lot of time together in that game. She realized something important through the game and it applied it into her real life too. I'm glad she did. There's nothing inside the fridge. My reflection in the mirror looks very pale. Oh. For some reason, I feel very tired. Maybe I should go to bed early. Already. Yes, let's go to bed. It's 
me, I guess. May I please come in? Just a second, please. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. Yeah. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. What's on your mind? I remember everything. I see. It seems like everyone else has forgotten. That I remember. That day we... It's okay, I guess. Don't cry. I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away. Like you did during the last battle. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru kirijo -san. Thank you. This past year, I accepted an important responsibility as Student Council President. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough to talk about her father. I remember now. That's right. After my father died. There was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Uh, am I forgetting something? Hmm? Not a senpai? What are you doing? Gurumaru! Uh, but no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason... <laughs> Our promise! <sighs> Mitsuru. That's right! It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai! We remembered him, and I guess... Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting. Uh, hello, this is a ceremony. We're not done. I admit, 
I'm finally noticing the beauty of spring. It's wonderful. And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters, and find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given, but to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. to live, so why am I... won't be going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us. I'm getting sleep here. My eyes feel happy. Close them. Uh... 